All right, good morning everybody. Here we are outside. Uh, I'm going to go over a few things that will cover some parts of navigation that I was not able to cover in the Arma 2 navigation. Uh, this is in detailing uh, orientating your map and declination in order to correctly orientate your map you must first learn how to read a declination scale and as you can see here there's several markings you have TN which is true north you have GN which is grid, grid north and you have um, uh, MN which is magnetic north so as you can see here east of the grid north is one I'm sorry correction west of the grid north is one the magnetic north is 15 degrees so uh, somebody had pointed out on my Arma 2 videos of course I was not able to do declination or do map orientation due to the fact you can't rotate the map in Arma 2 so here I'm going to show you how to do it you must correctly know how to um, read a declination scale on a map where your location is might be different where my location is my declination is 15 degrees west so somebody was trying to say you cannot do a declination on a on a uh, lensata compass well that person's wrong and I'm going to show you how to do it on a lensata compass that I have here you can see the little black dial here is rotatable so the way you get your declination correct is you take your lens, your compass you line it up on a true north now my map that I make I have uh, both I have uh, basically uh, longitude and latitude wise but I also have it set up as UTM and these are the numbers the top blue numbers are the numbers that you're going to be reading to do your map orientation or to do your map navigation so the way to set your declination scale is simply you take your compass here as you can see I haven't rotated it at all you're going to line it on the true north you're going to line it on the true north of the map so as you can see here my compass edge is lined up with the true north now I'm going to set the declination scale which as we said before declination for this map is 15 degrees west so that means I need to rotate my compass 15 degrees west so basically what I'm doing is each click is 3 degrees so 3 times 5 equals 15 that will give me the correct declination scale so we go 1 2 3 4 5 that is 15 degrees set declination now we want to orient that orientate the map to the compass and the way we do that is simply taking hold of the map with the compass on the true north and we're going to rotate it until the north lines up with the little white line right here once north lines up with that our map is correctly orientated and everything on the map will be set in its location so now we're going to be turning the map to the east which will make the compass go to the west let me move some rocks here the wind was blowing quite heavily before so now I'm going to rotate the map until we're lined up that's all very minute corrections here we go now my map is properly orientated so now if I'm in this position where I am right here and I wanted to travel to the road that's over here without even looking at it I could see I would have to travel 056 degrees to get me that location so basically and you can make your maps I get my maps made I have them made up at my topo inexpensive indestructible uh, they work very well 
and let's see if I can make this a little bit better. There we go, where I'm not killing my back. So, basically this map now is oriented to um, is oriented to 15 degrees declination. So that means if there's a house at 056 degrees, one mile, there will be a house at that location. Move the sucker over here. Now, for instance, you can actually set your you can actually set your your Google Earth to um, UTM grid coordinates, and I do it either way. You can you can use a Romer scale here, which I have this, which is set for which this map is is a 124,000 scale, or you can get a true military map, which is set to 50,000. So easy, you just put the Romer down, and if you wanted to get to that house. That building right there. Like I said, just follow my other videos on how to do grid coordinates. The location of that uh, this property, the intersection of this road right here, right here would be um, what is that? Five seven six nine three one. And it would also be uh, that would be four five eight three three two one, which will get you to the intersection of that roadway. So, as I said, basically you can set declination on a on a uh, let's add a compass. Like I said, each one of these turns, each one of these turns is three degrees. So that's 18, because I was at 15. I just want one more click. That's 18. I go back to 15. And as I said, everything... Let me rotate. Let me fix the map. Lovely. I got cameras and all this good stuff. Make sure you don't have any metal or anything around that, because that will actually foul up your... Uh, that will foul up your, your compass. So, just make sure it's on 15, whatever your declination is, line the map on the compass, and then all you have to do is simply rotate. And that's basically it. I got some, I got some metal under here, so it's, there we go, metal stand there. So as I said, you're just rotating the map and the metal's interfering. The metal of the table is actually interfering with the compass. So, declination is right there. Once you're lined up with that little line. Now, if you want to dial a, um, a setting in, and I love all these people calling me. If you want to dial a setting in, say your map is oriented, and then, okay, you want to travel to say 080 degrees alright so you're going to turn your compass you're at 080 degrees right here then all you do is turn your dial to north where it reads like that and that way all you have to do is keep that north lined up with the little white dash and you'll be traveling oh that's actually 065 I think I just hurt my back bending over but here here's eight zero degrees right there and I'm just turning my dial to the matches now it's zero eight zero so all I have to do is keep the north arrow on that little white line and I'm traveling at zero eight zero degrees so any questions please leave any comments and I'll be happy to answer them for you